I see field one. This is SLE worksheet number nine. So it looks like we have to distribute over parentheses first. So remember, distributes like multiplication. So negative three times y is negative three y. Three times negative times three is negative nine equals three y plus three. So we need now to start moving things back and forth. So perhaps I would add three y both both sides. Those cancel, so I get negative 9 equals 6y plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides. So I get uh, 6y equals negative 12. Divide each side by 6. So we find that y equals negative 2. Problem number 3, distribute. So I'm going to get 3x plus 3 minus 5 equals 3x minus 2. I'm going to combine those like terms together. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. And look what's going to happen here. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So those both cancel. So I get negative 2 is equal to negative 2. This is true. Being that's true, that means you have infinite solutions. Okay? There's a whole bunch of numbers you can plug in there. Actually, an infinite amount. Okay, something else will happen different if it doesn't come out to a true statement. Number 5, I'm going to distribute the... 5 to each of these, so I get here, and then that's going to give me same on this side, so I get 15x plus 3. Then we're going to go ahead and subtract 15x from both sides. Those cancel, and those cancel, so I get 25 is equal to 3. Well, 25 is not equal to 3, that's false, so that means you have no solution. So a lot of you might put something like this, you put no solution like that. That's not a 0, that's called empty set, so that means that's no solution. All right, problem number seven. I'm going to distribute the two over the parentheses. So I get 4y equals 2y minus 10. Subtract 2y, subtract 2y. And that's going to give me 2y is equal to negative 10. Divided by 2, divided by 2. So y equals negative 5. Number nine, we're going to distribute the negative 2 over these parentheses first. So I get negative 4x minus 6. Distribute the negative 4 over these parentheses. Those are like terms, so I'm going to go ahead and combine them. Go ahead and start doing this stuff. There's a negative 4, so I'm going to add 4x to both sides. Those cancel, and those cancel, so negative 6 equals negative 6. So that means, yeah, that's true. So that's infinite solutions. Number 11, distribute the 2. Uh, there's a 1 out front here, so you distribute that over. So I get 2x minus 6 equals x minus 1 plus 7. Combine those like terms. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract x. So I'm going to get x minus 6 equals 6. Add 6 to both sides. Squeeze it in there. x equals 12. Number 13, I'm going to distribute negative 6 to both of those. So I get 6 equals 2x. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times 9 is positive 54. And these are like terms, so I can go ahead and combine those together. So that's going to give me negative 4x, because 2x minus 6x is negative 4x, plus 54. Subtract 54 from both sides. Those cancel, and that gives me negative 48 equals negative 4x. And it doesn't matter if the x is on the right side or not. If I divide each side by the negative 4, negative over negative is positive. 48 over 4 is 12. And then we're reviewing a little bit. So let's see. I have b squared. Well, my b value is going to be negative 2. So I'm going to put that in parentheses. Minus 4 times 1 times 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, or negative 2 squared, is 4 minus 8. That gives me negative 4 for an answer. Number 17. I have the big square root. My a value is 1, so I have 1 squared. My b value is negative 2. And my c value is 2. And I just keep it consistent. I put the 1 in parentheses as well. 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4. Add those up so I get square root of 9. And square root of 9 is 3. And that's all we have.